Maddie Glab here with our second round pick. It's Osiris Torrance out of Florida, an offensive lineman. We're going to hit you with questions to get to know you a little bit better. So, what makes you most excited to be a Buffalo Bill now? Uh, just to be a part of this organization, I feel like it's headed in the right direction. It's a good program, have winning seasons the last few seasons. So, just being able to come into a program, I feel like I can help contribute, win some more games is probably the most exciting thing about it all. You talked about the culture being a good fit here in Buffalo after meeting with the Bills a few times. Why is culture important to you? Uh, I feel like it's important because I've seen uh, how, it, how it affects a team, like from how a good culture can help a team win games and how a bad coach can have a team lose games. I feel like a team with no culture but talented players is not as good as a team with not as much talented players but a good culture. So. I feel like culture is something that's overlooked with football teams, but here it's not. It's something that's very important with this organization. And I like that a lot about it. I like that too. You had on an incredible fit right when you came through the doors. <laughs> Can you describe the, the style that you have and why you chose that suit to wear? And also tell us what was on the inside, because yeah. that was the best part. Yeah, um, <laughs> I, 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 I got it for the, um, for the draft. Because cause before, after the combine, my agent, we had talked about just getting one just in case I get the call mm -hmm. to go. So we got a suit made. And I just got um, got the little um, cream color, like kind of like light gold, I'd right. say. Look, the white, just some, mm -hmm. some smooth, like mm -hmm. I don't wear it. Then, um, the inside of it, I had put my cat Cece on there just because I wanted to do something different. Like I always like to do something different, like I did with the pro, but like, my, like I did with my pro day with the two different cleats. Mm -hmm. I just like to kind of stand out a little bit, so I wanted to do something different. So I got the little vest, I got a vest with an imprint on the back of it, and I got the jacket with an imprint on the inside of it. So it's something different I'm better to cherish. Amazing. The next, the next one I get, I'm going to have to put my dog in there. Okay, so we have a dog and a cat. Are, yeah. Do you like dogs? Over cats, you like cats more than dogs. Uh, what came first in terms of, of a love for a pet for you? Um, the cats came first because my grandma. Yeah, my grandma had a um, bunch of cats growing up, and we stayed in the, uh, in the country. So okay. like, um, I would be outside watching. I didn't see the cat. Like, I seen them hunting and stuff like this. So watching cats do, they kind of just get the, just just, just I don't want to say get a love for them, but like just get a just get a feel for them. Like you just like them a little bit more. Like not saying I don't like dogs, but. Growing up, just seeing cats more kind of just gave me that vibe. And then with a cat inside, like you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta do nothing. You just got your little, a little predator roaming around, <laughs> killing any bugs that come in the house. <laughs> Only thing you really gotta do is change the litter box and feed her. And she handling everything else. So it's just, I mean, it, it, it's it's chill having a cat, especially in college and all the stuff you gotta be doing. So yeah. We'll stick with animals. What's what's your spirit animal? What animal best represents Osiris Torrance? I had got asked this question in an interview earlier on with a team, I forgot what team, but when they asked me, I just made, I had just made up something. I really went and looked it up and it, it had put a snake, so. Mm. Mm. Why would you cho Why would you choose a snake? Like that's what it gave, that's what, I, 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 took, oh, took I took a test? a test and then ended up being a snake. Do you think that fits you or no? I don't know. Would you like to correct it now? Yeah, I definitely correct it. I look at myself more like a, a power animal or something, like a, Duh. like a gorilla or something, like something strong, like a gorilla, elephant, something big and strong. So give me that tiger, lion, <laughs> I don't know, little snakes. I don't, I don't know why that one came out. Probably just because I just ran through the test and I ever get finished with it. <laughs> That's probably what it was from, but yeah, we ain't gonna talk about that. Okay, speaking of, of the gorilla, the, the lion, a bigger animal, I agree, you're huge. <laughs> Your hand size, 11 and a quarter <laughs> inches. So we gotta do this for the camera, okay, yeah. Yeah. You've got typewriter feet, you've got <laughs> strong hands, you didn't allow a sack in your collegiate career. What makes you a next level offensive lineman as you're heading to a team that that loves to throw the ball, that loves to give Josh Allen that extra protection? Uh, I just feel like I have all the traits that every good offensive lineman be having and then just the, the system and the other guys that are already here, I feel like it's definitely going to help me better play better, reach a, a higher potential that I did in college. And I feel like if I was able to be able to uh, re recreate some of that that I did in college, it would definitely help me be able to be as good or if not better at this level. So just knowing that and coming in with this right mind, a uh, good focus and and knowing and having a plan of what I want my career to be at the next level is definitely going to help me out with that. Who is Osiris Torrance? What's your personality like? Um, I'm more, I'm more of a chill person, honestly. Like I don't. I'm getting those vibes. Yeah, more more of a chill person. I mean, I 
I almost yelled the last night when I got the call, <laughs> but everybody around it did it did it enough for me. So I was like, oh, that's that, that's it. It, it, it felt like it, they took it out of me for themselves. So, but most of them just a chill person. I mean, I, that's kind of why I like this city because it's just like a a chill vibe city out mm -hmm. the way, like upstate New York. I mean, when, um, a lot of people texted me last night, asking me like, how you gonna do up there in the city? I'm like, y'all don't know Buffalo, not in a big city <laughs> in New York. Like, it's chill up there. Like, it's almost the country like I did back home, which is real cold. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, 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 I like it. I mean, I'm just, I just like the vibe and it's just a nice area up here. So I just like it. So, yeah. Speaking of the cold, are we ready to play in snow? Ah, we, we gonna be we, we gonna be ready in the next Let few me, days. Yeah, it's gonna take some. It's yeah. gonna take a little warm I, I, I can't sit up and just say I'm be ready right now. I just came from <laughs> it's 80 degrees back home in Louisiana, so I can't say I'm be ready just like right now. But I'm definitely. But over time, but it ain't gonna take too long. Have you ever played in snow before? Sleep before. Okay. Play, um, That's I, almost worse. I feel like. Yeah, it was. It was raining. Then the wind was was raining. Then the wind was blowing. It was we played App State in 2020 mm -hmm. and booming off Carolina. In Buffalo. Yeah, so <laughs> it, it was definitely cold. So I mean, I, I, got, I got experience in. I'm just I don't got experience in living in every day. So that's mm -hmm. probably gonna change, really. I see the bow chain. Your IG handle is King Bow. Do we have any <laughs> nicknames we want to go by here as Bill's Mafia starts to get to know you? Yeah, they're gonna just call me Cybo. Cybo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Does that come from Cyborg. Yeah, it was Cyborg when I was a kid. Um, then my mama kind of uh, no, my, my mama started at Cyborg, but then my uh, my brothers and cousins ended up just cutting it to Sabo because Sabo kind of was, well, I guess they wasn't really cutting it the whole time. So yeah, but once they got the Sabo, it kind of stuck on me, following me everywhere. What's your favorite food? <sighs> Jambalaya. Mm. Yeah. Favorite movie? Favorite movie? Uh, you, you ever seen The Hateful Late? Mm -mm. I take on uh, Quentin Tarantino. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a Western movie. I, li I like Western style movies okay. a little bit, so yeah. What about a favorite TV show? Favorite TV show? Yeah. Uh, Dragon Ball Z. Mmm, nice. Yeah. I like that. What are some of your hobbies outside of football? Um, I like, I, I like to um, go fishing when I can. Just you know, some chill like that. Play my game a lot. Uh, watch anime. And after that, really, nothing much have to do. I mean, football, really. Yeah, really I don't, like don't do too much after that, yeah. Your family seems very important to you. Why Why do they play such a big role in your life? Um, I feel like they just, the values they instilled in me. And throughout this whole process, I've seen it come up in these interview processes, of just the mannerisms I have and just being complimented on it. Like, And I didn't think too much of it because it's how I grew up. Like, the small things, like shaking somebody's hand, giving them eye contact, and all those type of things I feel like they instilled in me has definitely helped me get to where I am now. And, I'm just very appreciative of it because I feel like I wouldn't have gotten here without it. Do you have any pregame rituals? <laughs> you got uh, a funny one? It isn't, yeah, hold on. It, it, you can say it's funny. I don't, um, a certain time out, out, like not before the game, I say like a good three or four hours, I stop washing my hands. Cause like the dirtier I feel, the better I play. You stop washing your yeah, hands? Yeah, I don't, I don't wash my hands. Okay. Like the, the nastier I feel, so, the so better I play. So out there. Yeah, so I'm out there. The grimier I feel, like the worse I'm playing. So. Stick your hand in the ground, yeah, I'm ready yeah, to go. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> I might not even shower that night. Who knows? They'll not be the game yet. <laughs> you know what? I, I love that. It's, it's the offensive lineman in you. I think Bill's Mafia is going to love that answer as well. We've got a few more for you. Any hidden talents? I can cook real good. What do you got on the menu? Oh. Uh, I like jambalaya, but I can make a real mean like seafood potato, seafood pasta. All so. right, we're going over to Osiris' house later on when he <laughs> just gets let me know. <laughs> just let me know before you come so I can get everything you ready. If you had a superpower, what would it be? Um, probably the teleport. I would say fly, but I don't like heights, so mm -hmm. teleport, get there instantly. Would you I'm go good. back to, to a different time period? Where would you teleport to? No, no, not, no, not time period, teleport to a teleport spot. Teleport to a spot. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. What's your... Go to karaoke song. <laughs> Go to karaoke song. <laughs> if my life is on the line, I'm gonna choose the ABCs. That, that's a good song. <laughs> so I know I'm gonna use it and get everyone right. There you go. Can you do it backwards too? Nah, I can't do it. I can't do it. Who's your favorite artist? Who do you love listening to? My favorite artist. I'm really putting you on the spot here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably say. Ooh, or a few that, that you've always got on. A few that I always have on. Mm -hmm. uh, it it, it, it ranges from a lot, depending on how I'm feeling. 
So it'll probably be somewhere between like G Herbo, Trippy okay. Red, Lil Uzi. Okay. I might be in a country mood, Lil Brian, somebody like that. He's um, got range. Yeah, Jason Adeline, and anybody. So it, it, it depends on how I'm feeling. Favorite college football memory? Um, Does one stick out? Actually, two. Probably winning the Sun Belt Championship mm -hmm. in 2020, right? Because it was kind of like the perfect way we sent Coach Napier off. We won the championship for him. We knew he was leaving. So it's just a, it's probably the good feeling. Then the feeling we had in the uh, locker room afterward was probably something special. And then um, my first time running out there in a Florida uniform against Utah. Like it's those, a wild those, yeah, those two like really like top two. I can't really put one above the other because they both like special to me. So those two for sure. Last one for you. Who's your biggest role model? Uh, probably my mom. Just 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 because based off everything she put on, she does for me and the way she um helped me grow up. Just seeing how she worked every day, working two jobs, and just doing what she had to do to make sure we got things we needed and even sometimes got things we wanted. So just. Being able to um, see her do all those things and just be able to not be able to give back to her just mm -hmm. helps me feel like great all this time. So I just can't wait to be able to do that and make her um, proud of me even more. Moms are the real MVP. Thanks for sitting mm -hmm. down with us, Osiris. It was yeah, great uh, to get to know you a little bit better. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. I'm ready to get it. Let's go. Yes, sir. Bill's Mafia. Let's go. <laughs>